Okay. Um, yeah, so it's, um, it's week three of this semester. And um, so this week, uh, we're going to introduce you to a new instrument called the oscilloscope. Okay. So what an oscilloscope is, um, is you can basically think of it as a, a time dome, uh, a, a voltmeter that makes time resolved measurements. And uh, it also has a display unit attached to it, right? So that's basically what it does is it acquires and displays time varying signals. Um, and you can use it to measure different characteristics of the signal, including amplitude, frequency, and period, right? So the major difference from voltmeter, a uh, simple voltmeter is that it makes continuous measurements and it makes uh, time result measurement so you can get timing information about the uh, about the signal that you're measuring okay so let's talk about these three aspects right so first of all how do you acquire uh, the signal using an 82 um, well uh, using an oscilloscope okay so the oscilloscope you will be using is is inside of the 82 right like last time i told you that the 82 comprises of several dis different instrument packaged into one oscilloscope is one of them okay and um, so the oscilloscope takes its inputs from four pins labeled one plus one minus two plus and two minus okay and each of these sets uh form one channel okay. and uh so the the signal measured by uh, these two channels is, is the voltage difference between the one plus and one minus uh, node. And channel two measures the voltage difference between the two plus and two minus nodes. <clears throat> okay. Um, so if you wanted to measure uh, a voltage um, across a resistor on your circuit, then you would connect uh, the one plus and one minus nodes uh, pins to the two ends of the resistor. Okay. Um, so um, on the waveforms software, uh, once you click uh, and go into the oscilloscope um, instrument, then that oscilloscope um, instrument will have a display unit uh, with it. Okay. And so there are different things you can control in the display. So this is basically a time versus voltage graph and um, you're displaying um, the, the, the signal that you just acquired uh, from the one plus one minus pins um, and onto the screen. Okay, so there are different controls um, that you can use and basically they are the horizontal and vertical scales and offsets, okay? Um, horizontal scale means um, well, the scaling, uh, horizontal scaling. So how many seconds per division are there, right? So uh, usually a, an oscilloscope scale, screen is divided into several um, units and each spacing or division um, corresponds to a certain amount of seconds, milliseconds, microseconds, and that's called horizontal scale. Um, Okay, and then you have horizontal offset, which means, uh, well, yeah, which means that at this center of the screen, what is the time uh, equal to, right? So, um, so the question about what where is time equals zero is a little bit ambiguous or it doesn't hold much meaning, but um, you'll will sort of come back to this horizontal position. Um, when we talk about triggering. Okay. Um, and then you have vertical scales, which is how many volts per division you have. So each division could be one volt and then your five divisions is equal to five volts, pretty simple stuff. And then again, horizontal vertical offset uh, means this center line of, uh, of the display screen what voltage does that correspond to? Um, so on your 82 screen, you'll usually see uh, uh, a triangle right here that indicates voltage equals zero. 
So from your voltage equals zero position to your center of the screen using your vertical scale, you can easily make out what the offset is, okay? But these are controls that you can change uh, to look at different aspects of the signal, okay? Now, measurements, um, you, after you've acquired and displayed the signals, you now you'd like to make some measurements on the, um, on the signal, say you want to measure amplitude, frequency, period, and so on and so forth, right? So there's two ways you can make measurements on any oscilloscope. The first is using what we call measurement cursors, okay? Um, so there's two kinds of cursors, X cursor and Y cursor. Uh, and basically what it does is it like, lets you um, sort of place, uh, lets you place these cursors uh, at different points. Let's say I'm gonna put one cursor here and I wanna put one cursor here, right? And then it's gonna measure the time and voltage at these two points. From these two measurements, now you can calculate, say the peak to peak amplitude, or you can calculate what the uh, period is and so on and so forth, right? Um, and sim uh, similarly, you can use uh, Y cursors to also sort of uh, get the uh, amplitude information, okay? um, So that's using measurement cursors and you can, you can think of all the possible measurements you can make, but there's also um, built-in functions in any oscilloscope and also in your 82 oscilloscope which uh, may let you uh, make those measurements without using any cursors with, with, with um, it just uses some algorithms to calculate these measurements, okay? So uh, some examples are um, say frequency, amplitude, you can measure the period, you can measure the average, right? So this is something which might be difficult to measure with just the cursors because well, uh, you can put it, you can try and put it all the way in the center of the signal, but you, you'll never get, gonna get it uh, like exactly in the center. So um, this actually takes in the data and makes, uh, does the integral and everything to calculate the actual average of the offset of the signal, right? So these are also, uh, these are also important, have their own place. Okay. Uh, so display modes, um, so there are different ways you can display the signal. Uh, one, first one is normal mode, which where you're just plotting uh, time versus voltage and, um, and the signal is getting superimposed on top of each other after, uh, when you, if you have a periodic signal, it repeats itself. So it's, it's just getting superimposed on top of each other. That's good. Uh, there's something called the roll mode um, and this roll mode is for slow signals. And what it, what it basically does, it, it's, um, so the signal will sort of move across the screen as it gets updated, as, it, as the oscilloscope acquires new signal, right? So this is particularly useful for slow signals. <clears throat> and you'll do uh, tasks on each of these display modes. And there's a third mode called the XY mode. Um, this is different from the first two in a sense that now you're plotting voltage against voltage. So this is uh, when you have, when you're measuring two different signals and you're trying to sort of capture the relationship between the two signals, um, you use this XY mode, okay? So we'll get to this in lab four. Okay, so um, this week's lab in, if you're doing, if you have the 82, um, then you can do the 82 version of the lab. Uh, in task one, you're gonna adjust the horizontal and vertical scales and use cursors to make different measurements. In task two, uh, you're gonna adjust, learn to adjust the hor horizontal and vertical position um, or offset. And, and learn to make measurements using the built-in functions. Task three, you're gonna use roll mode and task four, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna um, 
do something with a voltage divider and make measurements on it, okay? Um, LT spice. Uh, task one, again, you're going you're gonna to play with horizontal and vertical offsets and scales. Task two, you're going to do voltage divider. Now, oscilloscope is, is just one instrument that you just uh, cannot learn as much using the LT spice. You can learn about displays um, and making measurements on the circuits, but if you really want to get the hang of what an oscilloscope interface looks like, I would really recommend anyone who's, who doesn't have an 82 to at least run the waveforms in demo mode and, and get to know how to use the wave gen and the oscilloscope, okay? Um, now, one quick point uh, to note is that on your, on um, the 82, the terms used for vertical horizontal scales and cursors are slightly different. Um, so horizontal scale is called, uh, oops, horizontal scale is called time base. Um, vertical scale is called uh, range for some reason. Okay, and vertical offset is called, I think it's just called offset. And horizontal offset is called time position. So these are just different names that, that uh, 82 oscilloscopes uses, but the idea is the same, right? It's still the vertical scale and horizontal scale. Okay. Um, Lastly, I'm going to talk briefly about voltage dividers that you're going to do in, uh, you're going to take a look at in task four. So basically, what is a voltage divider, right? So a voltage divider is, is a circuit comprised of two series connected resistors um, that, um, that is used to sort of uh, generate a voltage, a divided voltage from the unit, uh, from the input, right? So for example, um, if we measure in this configuration, if we measure the output across the three kilo ohms resistor, what, what do you expect to measure, right? And um, it, well, it's three volts, but how do you get to three volts? Right? So uh, we're just gonna have to apply uh, Ohm's law, right? First of all, the voltage across V out, um, voltage across the three kilo ohms resistor is the current um, through it, which is, let's call that I times the three K, right? Um, and, but this I, how do you calculate this I? That I is the total voltage five divided by the total resistance two K plus three K, right? Times three K. So if we, so from here, if you calculate this, you should get three volts, but if we can just write this more um, algebraically. So let's say five volts, that's our input voltage. And then you have it across the R out resistor divided by R one plus R out, right? And you see that the output voltage um, is some fraction of the input voltage, right? Um, so this is what we call a voltage divider. And you can change um, the, the, these resistances to get different division factors and get different voltage outputs, okay? Um, now let's talk about a potentiometer. In task three, what you're gonna do is you're gonna build a voltage, voltage, voltage divider with a potentiometer. So let's learn what a potentiometer is. Uh, a potentiometer uh, basically <clears throat> is, is two resistors connected in series um, with a third pin to connect off of, okay? So you can think of uh, a potentiometer as a very long resistor, but you can tap off somewhere in the middle uh, to get some variable resistance, right? So this is, um, this third terminal, or, or rather the middle terminal, is, is something that you can 
um, rotate and change where it is connected so that you get different resistances, right? For instance, uh, the, the potentiometer that comes in your kit is a 10 kilo ohm resistor, a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. Um, and if you keep the, the dial right in the middle, you'll get five kilo ohms on one side and five kilo ohms on the other side, right? So five kilo ohms between one pin one and pin two, and five kilo ohms between pin two and pin three. But you can easily uh, rotate this dial and get two kilo ohms on top and eight kilo ohms on the bottom or you can get 3.5K on top and 6.5K on the bottom, so on and so forth, right? So basically it is a variable, it is a source of uh, variable resistors, series connected variable resistors, right? Um, so the, the, uh, the potentiometer that comes in your kit um, looks like this. It's a, it's a blue thing with a white knob on top and uh, it has three pins, one connected to, uh, two of them connected to the two ends of the resistor and one connected to the middle dial, right? Um, so yeah, so that's, that's potentiometers for you. And now how do you build a voltage divider using a potentiometer? Well, this is the circuit schematic that's given in um, your lab manual as the circuit that you're gonna build. Um, so basically, um, this is a potentiometer, right? And you're tapping off um, in the middle with pin two, and you're measuring the voltage across pin two and pin three, right? So this is pin one, this is pin one, this is pin two, and this is pin three of your potentiometer. And again, um, the output voltage is the voltage across this half of the potentiometer. Um, but if you do the same analysis we did before with the two resistors, you'll see that the output voltage is some divided fraction of the input voltage. But now in this case, um, if you check carefully, the bottom, uh, the denominator is R bottom plus R top, which is the total resistance. And that remains constant, right? But the bottom resistance is, is, is variable. So you can change it by changing uh, altering the position of this knob. And so you can get variable amounts of, um, you can get variable uh, amount of voltage division. And so you can get variable voltages out of this contraption. Okay. Um, all right, so that's voltage dividers, potentiometers and oscilloscopes. All right, any questions so far? All right, so if there are no questions, then that will be it for this week's um, lab session, uh, lab briefing. Um, all right, good luck.